What's up guys, Crypto here. If you like crypto, if you like crypto mining, hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, leave us a comment below. Today, we are going to be setting up our gold shell LB box here. We got this uh, ATX EVGA 600 watt power supply that we'll be using. So stick with us. Alright guys, so here we go. Got the power supply set up here. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, so we'll see how I do. Got our LB box miner here. So we got Ethernet and 6-pin power. So we are gonna set this guy up here plug ethernet in we will get our PCIe from our power supply here we go 6 pin from our power supply plugged in and the next thing before we plug our power supply in if you're using an ATX power supply like this and not you know the one that came with it or like a server style you will need to jump the 24 pin so technically you could just stick paper clips in you know in your 24 pin and it'll work but you could get one of these for like five bucks um and then they just plug it into the 24 pin and then it jumps it for you so There we go, just like that. So now we will plug it in. There we go, we are plugged in. So now, let's turn it on. Flip the switch on our power supply. There we go. We have power and we are running. So you're gonna let this thing run for a few minutes. Little fans are going. Let it run for a few minutes. Wait for it to, you know, get ethernet and pop up. We are gonna jump on the computer. We will meet you guys there and show you how to find the IP address for this little guy. So we'll see you there. Alright guys, so now we are on the computer. What you're going to want to do is, usually on your router or something, you can find the IP address for your router. If you punch that in your browser, um, you'll get a big list of basically everything that's connected to your network, from iPhones to computers and so on. Your LB box miner will now pop up in that list. So you're going to grab that IP address of the box miner now which is gonna be similar minus a couple numbers at the end there. You're gonna punch that in your browser and you're, it's gonna bring you here. This is the web GUI for the ASIC miner itself. So now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you're here is you're gonna to wanna to unlock this thing. Um, it's gonna be admin and like it says right here, password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So once you get that in, unlock now you're going to want to change that thing first so go to system there change the password 
current password one two three four five six seven eight nine and your new password There we go. So it looks like it didn't like uh, special characters when I put it in the first time. So we'll click change. Okay. Now that's done there. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Leave all that. And we're good there. So now you're going to go to minor hash rate mode there's only one mode on this one some other miners you can change it to quiet modes and so on low power modes um, temperature monitor enable red LED and green LED blanking uh, sure let's go apply uh, pool priority so this is where you're going to um, add one so we're going to delete that one probably here in a second oh we may have to shut down the miner standby Restart, no, well, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, we got to re unlock it because we changed our password. All right, now we're unlocked. That makes sense. So now you're gonna wanna go to here, add. So now next thing is you gotta find out what pool you're gonna mine with. So you're gonna wanna go to miningpoolstats.stream. It'll bring you here. Um, I'll leave a link in the bio or the description. Um, type in the coin, so in our case it's library credits, there it is. We'll click there. It's going to come up with a list of mining pools, you know. DX pool being the, you know, one carrying the most hash rate. Um, and so on. China, China, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so you're going to want to pick one. We're going to use Z pool. So then you go over to Z pool here. The cool thing about their website on the home pages here they have a stratum generator so this is going to tell you everything you need to know so you're going to click north america for us or wherever you're from so we're from north america but you could pick europe whatever algorithm which is um gonna be l b r y there it was where to go right there and then we are going to pick LBC. Uh, you're going to put your payout address there from your exchange wallet, whatever you're using. And the currency is going to be LBC because that's an LBC wallet address. So then right here, you got everything you need to know to punch into the miner. So, you know, we're going to go back and to our here now we're all stratum tcp we're going to input the pool url so we'll go back to our generator here and the pool url is this guy right here without the stratum
So we will go over here. Yeah, paste that there. Oh, get rid of those. There we go. Use your, your account to this pool. Go over. Username is our wallet address, it looks like. Feel free to send me some LBC credits if you want. Oh, wrong one. Oh, every time we switch the tab, it deletes our stuff. That's fun. All right, so let's go like this. We'll move that. Oh, no, we don't want that one. Let's move this one to a new window. Let's see here. And we'll just go like this. Where's your stratum? I lost it. Oh, here it is. But it's gone. We have to redo it. North America Library. LBC address currency LBC. Okay. So now we will go see if this works. Looks like it. There we go, and apply, exit. And we are going to want to remove that one, it's the old one. And now our new one is active. So that's that. Now you're all hooked up there. So we should be able to go to back to Z pool here. And somewhere up here, you should be able to let's try and find it. Uh, you should be able to punch in your address and see let's try wallet oh that's not my wallet address There we go, let's see if that pops up with anything. There we go, so it popped up, but there's no data found yet. So we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll come back to you once it's hashing on here and the pool's picked it up. So you're just gonna have to sit tight for a few minutes before that happens. There we go, so it looks like it's showing up here, showing hash rate, miners one, that's our hash rate right now, this thing will, you know, start to show a nice graph here, but it's just got to go through, it's hardly even been on for a couple minutes, but there you go, you are hooked up and set up.
congratulations if it's your first minor they're super sweet little minors and so on and yeah don't forget to hit the like button leave us a comment subscribe if you haven't and we will catch you guys next time